Hello, welcome to this new video. Now, this is something that very few people talk about and explain, and that is what the actual secret is. Within your mind and body, deep within your being, there lies a power. The power to attract anything you desire, absolutely anything, mind you. And when you practice and learn how to harness this power, you will realize the infinite divine power within you. This applies to mankind as a whole, irrespective of religion, caste, creed, and even atheists. I am Suresh Menon, and welcome to this channel of mine, Positivity and Abundance. Before I go about trying to explain about the minimum requirements to harness the power, let me tell you a personal story that happened to me very recently. I live in India. It was on the 24th day of March 2020 at 8 p.m. that the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi, announced a complete lockdown of the country in a televised address in an attempt to contain the spread of the COVID virus. I may be blessed with food stocks that could last a couple of weeks, but then how about the people at large? As the days progressed, I could see people from the low income category on the streets starving and begging for a morsel of food. I felt very really bad and could not sleep for a couple of nights. Every time I had food, I, would, I could feel that sense of guilt building up within me. And this was getting stronger and stronger day by day. I finally decided to act. I set about an X amount of money to start with and decided that I will feed about 100 of these poor people for about a week. I organized for some food from an authorized kitchen, took the necessary permissions from the authorities in a couple of hours and started distributing food packets the very next day. Believe me, it was an experience that gave me immense satisfaction. The happiness on the faces of these poor people in receiving one pack of food was unmistakable. A few of them openly thanked me and blessed me. That night, I had an extremely peaceful sleep. But by morning, a different concern started. I wanted to continue this activity for more than a week and the money that I could afford to spare at that point in time would not be sufficient. But the desire grew deep within me till a friend called me and asked me how I was. I casually told him of my activity over the past two days. So he asked me if I could send some pictures. I sent him a few taken by my partner and Craig. He in turn asked me if he can help me with some money. Believe it or not, people just flocked to do their little bit and continued to send me money and help fund this food distribution endeavor of mine. I did not publicize it at all, by the way. Something that was planned for one week went on for seven weeks until stricter regulations forced me to stop the activity, of course. At the end of it all, I realized that it was only the X amount of money that I had set apart for spending was actually spent. Every other expenditure was simply taken care of. It was well after I stopped the activity that I realized that what had happened to me was nothing short of a miracle. The deep feeling to fill empty stomachs on the street actually gave rise to some unknown type of emotions in me which I gather were genuine. These emotions created a vibration which ushered in exactly what I needed. There is a power deep within your mind and body that once is activated has the power to attract almost anything you desire. This is something very few people talk about because this holds the secret to attract anything and everything you desire when you truly learn how to harness this power. Absolutely nothing can stop you. Before I get into this, let me ask you to do something. Please type below in the comments, I have the power. This is no joke. Mind you, this will set the tone of your conscious and subconscious mind to fully receive what I am about to tell you. You can pause this video now. Go to the comment section and type, I have the power. So, what is this power within you? What is this fragment of the universe within you? It all comes down to energy, frequency and vibration. These are the fundamental principles within the law of attraction, but very few people understand how they work. This is why you'll keep hearing the same information over and over again from the same people, different people, and keep seeing the same people say the same things over and over again. 
very few people actually understand how these principles work within the law of attraction every single thing is made up of energy you are made of energy i am made of energy your computer or smartphone you're watching this on right now is made of energy it's all energy forming together to create tangible things that we can see touch feel and experience and in order to attract what you want you have to be in the right frequency and hold the right vibration these principles work together to attract things to reality and it's not magic it's science those of you scientifically inclined can check out on another video of mine in the same channel which explains how quantum physics explains this phenomenon of energy becoming matter here's what most people don't understand when it truly comes to attracting what you want you can think of everything in levels right now you are at a certain level based on things you continue to think and believe you are where you are right now because of your subconscious programming okay this is your level and this is really hard for a lot of people to understand except because when you really understand how the law of attraction manifesting works you have to take 100% total responsibility for your reality you can't play that victim circumstance anytime this happened to me or i came from this or i don't have enough of this um, or it does not work in my current circumstances all that is stupidity not acceptable that's not how law of attraction manifestation works you decide what's possible you change your programming and conditioning around it you desire it if a setback or a failure happens you learn from it and move on you evolve and grow to the person you need to be to have the things that you want life is not happening to you it's happening for you so right now whether you realize it or not all of your habits and actions continue to support whatever level you are in right now your subconscious programming and thoughts and beliefs put you there in this level and because your subconscious mind runs on autopilot 95% of the time all of your habits and actions are going to continue to support you over and over again to meet you where you are at to keep you at this level because that's where your subconscious programming put you you must understand that you are at where you are right now because of your subconscious programming but in order to get to the next level the level of where you want to be maybe it's a new house a new job a new business a new car whatever uh, something that you intend to manifest is on the next level if you continue to think the same thoughts do the same behaviors do the same actions how do you expect to get to the next level this is the part that nobody talks about you can keep doing all the manifesting exercises you can keep doing all the techniques you can keep saying affirmations you can read books watch videos but until you change your way of being you are going to stay stuck right where you are at now and when you are in that place it's easy to be skeptic and say the law of attraction isn't real or it isn't easy to say that manifesting doesn't work or that you know the universe won't perform miracles blah blah i have heard it all i've heard all of the excuses but notice when you are making these excuses how can and how can you shift and take accountability that you are where you are at because of your subconscious programming so if you can change your subconscious programming you can change your life to get to the next level you're going to have to change and rewire your way of being and when you decide to change your way of being i'm not going to lie now it's going to be uncomfortable for you because you are literally breaking and shaping and rewiring and remolding so many different aspects of yourself you are thinking new thoughts feeling new feelings trying out the new version of yourself that has the things that you want and that can be really uncomfortable if you don't already have those things okay 
So if you are shifting into being the version of yourselves that makes a lot of money and has a lot of things that you want, whatever your desires, of course it's going to feel uncomfortable when you are not currently making a lot of money or don't have the things that you want. This is exactly where so many people kind of get stuck. They are like, well, how do I be this version if I don't see it? But that's not the way it works. You have to see it and feel it even before it's there. You have to change your way of being and be the version of yourself that has it. You have to break up the habits and patterns and thoughts and rewire your brain for the next level. And that's not something that's easy to do. You can't fake this work. So if you're sitting there saying, okay, well, I'm going to be a millionaire and I'm not actually, uh, and you're not actually stepping into that version of yourself and, and actually changing your habits and actions and maybe doing things that are making you a little bit uncomfortable, then it's not going to change for you until you fully be the version. If you are sitting and complaining of the environment that you are in, that is preventing you from taking that vital step forward in life, for whatsoever reason it may be, remember that your preconditioned subconscious is going to be more than happy to keep guiding you through the same beaten path for life. Everything starts from being. It's almost as if you are shattering and breaking apart what you know to be true and learning to accept the new reality of what you desire. And when you are in this place of changing, you are essentially changing who you think you are. You are changing your identity to support the things that you want. And so many uncomfortable feelings are going to come up because you are going to, you're stepping into uncharted territory, right? So there would even be near and dear ones holding up cudgels against you. All of the things that you think are true about yourself, all of the things that you believe are true, they are all just your opinion. And they are an opinion formed of your experiences and the things you were told and the way you were raised and things people said about you. They are not actually true, believe me. It's just a bunch of information you received and you decided who you are. So now when you are doing this work, you are deciding to be different. You are deciding to ignore all of the evidence around you telling you that you are this thing and this person and you are saying, no, I'm not. You're breaking apart that mold and you're stepping into the new level and you're saying, well, I'm this person. And like I said, this work is totally uncomfortable because you're breaking apart everything you know and you're changing your way of being. But once you start changing your way of being and you are in this new next level then your outside world will start reflecting that back to you so right now who you think you are is based on all of the evidence and information from your external reality but then when you decide to be different and be the version of yourself that has the things that you want then your external reality will start to change and reflect from who you are being rather than being told who you are you decide who you are and be that person regardless of what's going around you. So many people work from their external circumstances. Well, if I had enough money, then I would do this. If um, I was more successful than I could have, if I had a better job, but that's not how it works. You start with your way of being and then your external reality will reflect that back to you. It sounds like an easy transition, but when you're going through it, you'll realize it's one of the hardest things that you'll have to do. And if you are blessed with a mentor at this point in time, nothing could be better. Here's a different way to think of it. Uh, think about all of the actors that you see on TV and you see in the movies. Mm, they're not being themselves. They're, they're being their character. They've been told to. They are changing their little behaviors and thoughts and patterns and emotions to be the character that you are watching and enjoying. So here's a little exercise that you can try right now. Create a character for yourself. Someone who has the things that you want. Think of it. Just like a character in a movie or a TV show. But they have the things that you want. Okay. Now, 
how can you bring this character into life how can you step into that role and start playing this character in your life now how can you decide to be this character now regardless of what's happening in your life because when you change your way of being your external reality will catch up so use that example if it helps you Uh, be the actor taking on the role that you want to play in your life and watch how things start to shift and change for you and here's one of the most powerful things about changing your way of being you can decide to do this at any time any moment regardless of your current circumstances it's a choice that you get to make a choice that you decide to stay when you work from being what you do want to manifest has no choice but to show up it has no choice it has to happen stop wanting stop needing start being and watch how your life changes i'm sure that very few people understand this and the few that do understand this aren't sharing this because it is such a powerful transformative concept that will literally change your life once you figure this out and embody how to use this Remember and trust me if you can change the way you're programmed and change your thoughts and beliefs you can literally change your entire life. I really hope you enjoy this video. Please do not forget to comment, react to this video and share it with your circles if you enjoyed it. We'll meet up in another video very soon. Thank you.